Two hikers died Saturday when they fell climbing around Bridalvale Falls up Provo Canyon. It's an extremely popular Utah County attraction, but it can be deadly too. As news specialist Jed Bowl shows us, the county now owns the base area and improved safety is part of a long-term plan. Jed. A 14-year-old exchange student and his 28-year-old host died Saturday when they were climbing up above and around the main falls. These signs here warn us about the treacherous trail, but the county is considering enhanced safety measures. At the base of the first big falls here. Sheriff Sergeant Spencer Cannon tells me the weekend deaths are the first two fatalities at Bridalvale Falls this year. Although a 12 year old was hit and injured by a falling rock in May. Putting some signs up, uh, something that certainly will be discussed. The trail to the main falls is moderate and relatively safe. Beyond that, the hiking and climbing gets more slippery and steep. That becomes problematic because very often when people do that, it is well beyond their experience level. That's why Utah County search and rescue crews have responded to 27 calls to the falls so far this year. 22 of those were for hikers who were either injured, ill, or stranded. Three people died in 2013 and one in 2014. The sergeant says more signage might help, but everyone needs to be cautious. If you're standing at the base of a cliff and you're thinking about climbing it, you ought to ask yourself the question, is this something that I really should do? Eight years ago, a private group raised money to resurrect the aerial tram that took people to a restaurant at the top of the falls before it closed in 1996. When that lost momentum, the county bought the base area and restaurant. Right now, the county is considering a management plan that includes safety, but they want to make sure that any structures truly enhance safety. If you put a rail there, it's almost like you'd be inviting people to climb here. There's no specific timetable for the county's safety enhancements, but already they are moving ahead with plans to demolish this tram base, which they used to use in order to run people up to the restaurant above. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl reporting. All right, Jed.